there YouTube. So long time no see. It's been a while since um, I filled, I've filmed, blah, blah, blah. It's been a while since I filmed anything. Um, the summer was just like super busy. I don't even know how long it's been since I filmed, but the summer was really crazy. I got married in August and I know that's not really um, an excuse for letting other things fall to the wayside, but I got married and so that was a really busy time and then I was away on a kind of mini honeymoon type of thing and just you know lots of other things going on in life having to do with like work and family and all of that stuff but now that the fall's here I'm ready to get back on track I've got some new projects um, in the mix and I'm just really looking forward to getting back to like regular life and to be doing this more often <laughs> So here I am today with my September favorites. I haven't done a favorites videos in forever, maybe since May or something. But uh, I've got a handful of like beauty products, some skincare, and then a couple of other type things. So let's just get started. My first favorite is the Marc Jacobs, I'm sure this has been a favorite before, Marc Jacobs um, Genius Gel Supercharged Foundation. That's this guy right here. And I just shook it up so you can't see the line that I'm at, but I'm at least halfway through it. And that's a lot because it really doesn't take a lot for this stuff, just one pump. It does have a nice pump there. It's a beautiful frosted glass bottle. I really like it. And I am in the shade Beige Medium. And I just really like this stuff. Um, I have really dry skin. Even in the summertime, I don't really get oily. And this just agrees with my skin like so well. It's a really great cover match. I actually wore this on my wedding day. And I just find it wears well, stays put, doesn't show my like gross patchy areas. Cause like I said, with my dry skin foundation doesn't really like break down on me too much. Cause I don't have a lot of oil coming through, but it does get like, you know, sticks to dry patches and ends up looking like cakey and crusty. But this one really, really doesn't. Something about the gel formula and uh, I really, really like it. My next favorite is a product that a lot of people love and I thought I would never like. I am not really a fan of um, highlighters. I never really have been. I've never really used them. Um, I don't know, maybe I just never found the right one. But I decided to give this one a try. I don't know why, just everybody seemed to like it. I, I don't know, it was just crazy. And of course, it's the uh, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Champagne Pop, the Jaclyn Hill one. So everyone knows what this looks like. There it is. I can open it. There we are. I'm wearing it today. You can sort of ooh, see that right there. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. I think everyone sort of knows what this looks like. Super beautiful, super shimmery, beautiful champagne color. It's just gorgeous. And uh, yeah, you know what? I do, I do like this. It's in my favorites, obviously. Um, I really thought I wouldn't. I don't know. I just not a big fan of sparkle, but this one I find that, you know, like when I wear it out at night, I could wear it like full on you know, like highlighter shimmery, but I also wear it to work and you can definitely tone it down a little bit so it's not like shimmer face crazy. But uh, I really like this. I liked it a lot for the summer. It was so beautiful, uh, like with tan skin, and I'm hoping that it'll look just as nice when it comes to winter time. My next favorite is a drugstore favorite and it is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set Makeup Extender Setting Spray right here. Got a little pump there. And uh, I'm a big fan of setting sprays. I don't wear them every day, but uh, I'd say I wear them but half the half the day, half the days that I wear makeup. And definitely on like if I'm going out at night or I'm wearing, I'm, I did something like kind of special with my makeup and I really want it to last. And this one is amazing. Um, I find that it's just as good as the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray because I've definitely used that before. It's just as good uh, and for a lot less money. I don't have a big bottle of the setting spray, the Urban Decay setting spray right now, so I can't 100% tell you how much is in there, but there's 100 milliliters in this one, and I've seen this one on sale for like $7, which is amazing because the Urban Decay one is a lot more, so this one's a fraction of the price. It's easy to get to because they sell it at just about every drugstore. 
Um, they sell it in a lot of grocery stores. They sell it at Walmart. I'm sure you can find it at Target if you're in the States. So we all know here in Canada, we don't Target anymore, blah, blah, blah. Worst thing ever in life. But um, yeah, really nice, definitely comparable to higher brands or not higher brands, to more high-end brands, I should say, to more high-end brands. And it's just a really, really nice, great setting spray. Next is a mascara, and I've only got a little sort of trial size tube of it here, but it's the Ico Black Magic Mascara for Drama and Curl. There's a little tube right there. And uh, sometimes I find that smaller mascaras, um, they perform differently than the large sizes, but this one's been really wonderful. So I'm sort of thinking maybe I will try the bigger one, but things that I like about it. So the brush, it's sort of a traditional brush in that it doesn't have those like hard plasticky um, bristles. There it is there, you can see it, sort of with those bristles. And it also sort of has a, a curve to the brush and it's really quite a fat kind of large brush, not one of those really skinny short bristled ones. I really find that brushes like these, uh, ones that aren't those sort of plasticky newer ones but more the traditional ones, really tend to grab my lashes better. I don't know, just that's just in you know my experience and in my case you might like the other ones better. Another thing that I really like about this sample is that the tube is mushy. It's not like a hard plastic tube. I don't, I don't know, I feel like I can get more bang for my buck and you know like get all the mascara that's like in the corners and just sort of mush it all in. I don't know. That, that's just me. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but either way, I've been getting some nice results from this. It's been coating my lashes nicely, really keeping the curl, making them look very thick and long, like the tube says, drama and curl, making them look thick and long and just really, really beautiful. And I've really just been liking it a lot. My last two favorites are not beauty items. They are just uh, sort of everyday other loves. And my first one is a candle. Now I, this is the second one that I've bought, so I haven't started burning this one yet. But the first one that I had, uh, I burnt it all already. <laughs> and so I, and I kind of got rid of the, um, the bottle because I got a new one. So I can't show you the one that I used up, but I'll show you this one. And it is the orange flower candle from a brand call, called Harlow Fire. Ugh, I have a hair stuck me. <laughs> It says it's a wood wick eco soy candle hand poured in Vancouver, BC. Approximate burn time 50 hours. Um, honestly, I'm not sure how many hours it burned, but I mean, it lasted me a good, you know, at least a month. So let's say that that was 50 hours. But what I really love about this one, it's a combination of things. The smell, it's beautiful. Orange flower. So it's not like straight up orange peel, but it does have like a flowery kind of note to it. So it's not just super citrus, though you can smell the orange. It has like a flower kind of background to it. Next is the wick. You see how it has one of these um, like wooden wicks in it? So it kind of has that crackly kind of sound to it. I really, really like hearing that. It's really nice. Also, this candle did not produce like a whole bunch of soot and gross black smoke. Sometimes the Bath and Body Works candles in particular can create a lot of that junk and I don't really like that being in my house. And last but not least, this beautiful glass jar that it, that it comes in is this gorgeous kind of orangey amber. I'm sorry if you can hear that, my cat's going crazy. This beautiful orangey amber jar, which is really, really gorgeous. And I realized that I wanted to save my last one and I think I threw it in the recycling bin. That's very disappointing. Rats. So these are poured in Vancouver, BC. Um, I have been buying mine in a sort of like small local store here in Ottawa. Uh, and I guess they are a supplier of the candle, but I know that you can get them on their website. And I have seen them in other stores that are not in Ottawa. I don't know how easy they are to get in the States or any other country besides Canada. But if you are in Canada and you see these, try them out. They're really, really lovely. And uh, I think next time I go, when I'm done with this one, I'll try another flavor or scent, I guess it would be called, not really flavor because you don't really eat it. But either way, beautiful candle. And last but not least are a, we'll call them fashion favorite. And they are a pair of Birkenstocks. And I am not one of those people who think that Birkenstocks are ugly shoes. No, I think that they are stylish and comfortable. And the Birkenstocks that I have in particular, 
or one of the pairs because I've got a whole bunch of them, are these ones right here. So they are a closed toe and they're made out of a, uh, cats, they're made out of a gray felt. And they have a buckle right here, a couple of little holes and the, the little strap goes through there and then you fit your foot in right there. Now I'm trying to figure out what the style of these are, but I'm not 100% sure. But if you go on the um, Birkenstock website, they'll definitely tell you. Here's the other one here. The only, only problem I have with these is that if you have a pet, your pet's hair will stick to the felt because mine are covered in cat hair right now. But I'm sure like a sticky roller, just clean that right up. But I call these my winter sandals. Well, not winter sandals, because I wear them, don't wear them in the winter, but like my fall sandals, because I do wear them when it gets a little bit chilly out. They're nice for popping on, you know, when you just need to zoom out somewhere. And they do still have the original type of like Birkenstock soles, so they really um, are comfortable for your feet and add a lot of support. And I have even been known to, you know, if I'm wearing socks, to just pop them on while I'm wearing socks not so fashionable but uber comfy so those are all my favorites for the month of september i hope you guys had a really wonderful month and are looking forward to what's yet to come in the rest of this year and i will see you later bye